Hey everybody, welcome to week number 27 of my pregnancy. Um, overall, a really good week. Um, not a whole lot going on really. I kind of feel like these videos <clears throat> are getting a little bit um, of the same because they're not really having any new symptoms. Nothing new is really going on, um, but I make them nonetheless. Um, just a, a, a quick uh, what symptoms I have. The pelvic pain is still there. I really don't think it's been this bad this past week. Um, but it's definitely still there and it's definitely worse when I'm sitting for a longer period of time and then have to walk for a longer period of time. It just takes me a minute for it to go away. Um, but I guess, you know, that's probably fairly normal. I've been having a lot of heartburn. I did finally go out and buy a bottle of Tums. I could not take it anymore. It wasn't something I wanted to suffer through. Um, we had had, I think, pasta for dinner one night and it, oh my God, the whole next day, I thought I was going to die. It was so horrible. Um, so I did, I just went out and bought Tums and, you know, that really fixes it. And I just, I'm going to try to, you know, not eat as much sauce and, um, you know, just spicier things, things that give you heartburn. Um, I've been feeling a lot, a lot, a lot of baby movement, which is just awesome. I love it. And the funniest thing ever is that I feel it. And then I'll call my husband over, and he and it always, and, and Nate always stops kicking at that time. It's just the funniest thing ever. He could be, I mean, it's just it it just always happens that way that that Paul is never there when he you know when he's kicking. Um, and at, sometimes at night he'll kick and Paul's already asleep or you know it's just it's funny. But the funny thing, the one of the things that happened this past week which was really interesting is the baby was kicking really high up like like in my stomach area really high up. and uh, I'm rubbing as if you could see it and he kicked once <clears throat> I pressed in the spot that he kicked he kicked again I, I pressed down he kicked. it was just it was you know we were playing a little game it was very funny it was it's um, by far the best thing ever to feel the baby kick um, I also want to mention my week 23 video has never been uploaded because I cannot get it to upload. And I was going to redo it and screw it. <laughs> it's just, I don't know why YouTube gives me a problem with some videos and other videos not. But I'm having a hard time doing it, so I'm just not going to worry about it. Um, I was also going to do a video on the clothes that we got at the consignment event. And they sat here for a little while and I finally just put them up in his room because I was sick of seeing him sit here. I didn't get a chance to do it. So what I think I'll do is instead of showing you the clothes from the consignment event, when I do his nursery tour, I'll show them to you then, along with the other stuff that we have bought. Um, speaking of other stuff that we bought, I finally found a changing table that I liked. I forgot to mention that in my last video. When we had gone to that consignment event and we stopped at Baby's R Us on the way back, uh, I think I mentioned that it was a superstore or whatever. So it was a much bigger uh, Baby's R Us, and they had a lot of the furniture displayed um, that is not at our store displayed like it's it's in the catalog but it's not actually out so you can't see it and I found a changing table I absolutely loved and um, before that I had found one at Target I liked but the reviews weren't great it had a drawer which I really liked a lot of changing tables don't have drawers <clears throat> but the reviews on the drawers were that they were basically falling apart falling out and everything so I was gonna get it and I kept kind of putting it off putting it off and we went, when we went to the consignment event, um, we found at that Baby's R Us a changing table that we absolutely loved. Of course, they didn't have it in, so um, we came back to our own store and ordered it. Um, I just actually got a call that that's in, so we're going to pick that up tonight. But it doesn't have a drawer, but it's really sturdy, and it was actually less money because I had a coupon for 20% off. It was actually less money than what the other one would have been at Target. So, and the nice thing about it was that because it was in the store at that one, what I made my husband do is go over, pick up the chain table and carry it next to our crib set that they had. They actually had it in the cherry that we have. So, um, it matches perfectly, um, which was nice because sometimes, because we picked a different finish than what was in our store, you know, we couldn't really compare the finishes and I really didn't want it to not look because it already doesn't match the... You know, it's not part of that collection or whatever, so I wanted to make sure that the, the color really matched. It's got the same slats that our crib has on it, and I'll show you that when I do a nursery tour. Speaking of the nursery, um, I have no uh, batteries for my camera, and I just, you know, things have been so crazy that I just have not been able to do the simplest things. 
Um, <clears throat> my mom's definitely getting better. Thank you for everyone that, uh, you know, has had her in her prayer, your prayers and, you know, uh, wished her well. She um, is going to therapy like three times a week, plus she's got other doctor's appointments. And I'm going with her just because it's easier on my dad that way. You know, um, he uses that time to like go get groceries and do, uh, you know, run some errands and things like that. Plus, I get to spend time with her, which I definitely don't hate. So, um, I'm very close to my mom. So, um, I've just been so busy that things like have been neglected here. Like, I have baskets of laundry sitting up in my bedroom that need to be put away. I don't even get to make my bed every day, which drives me nuts because I love to get into a made bed. But um, things have just been crazy. We, I've been feeling like I've been going nonstop. Um, it's definitely a different uh, pace from what I was so but anyhow uh, on to Nate's room we really have not had a chance to do anything um, additional to his room we still have um, I, I can't even remember what the last thing is I told you guys the uh, walls are painted the ceiling is painted however right where the walls meet the ceiling is not painted because we painted the ceiling walls on the same day and we didn't want to put the tape up, you know, and have it pull. The, we've had that happen before where it pulls the ceiling paint back off because it's not completely dry. So we were going to wait like a day or two. My mom ended up having the stroke. And it's totally sat and not been finished. Um, my husband has plans to start working on the closet because the closet has not been touched at all. We're just, it's a matter of finding time to do it. And, you know, a good thing and a bad thing is that his overtime has really kicked up. Um, which is great because we have a lot more stuff to buy, a lot um, higher price items. I want to, you know, buy the diapers. They're 400 and some dollars. I want to buy the breast pump. That's, um, you know, like $300. So um, the overtime that he's getting is great, but he's working until, <coughs> excuse me, he's working until like 8 o'clock at night. He goes in at 5.30. <coughs> so it makes for really long days. And um, we're spending a little bit more time at my mom's house uh, to give my dad a break. You know, we go up on the Friday on Friday nights, make her dinner and make him dinner. You know, stay and watch a movie or whatever. And then we go up on one weekend night or one weekend day. So, uh, which is, our weekends is usually when we would use to do the house. So, it's just crazy. And I hope things settle down, um, you know, fairly soon because he's coming in like uh, two months. <laughs> a little more than two months, maybe two and a half months if he goes to 40 weeks. If not, it's even less than that, which is just crazy. Um, but it's exciting. It's so exciting to know that before too much longer, it is gonna, you know, he's gonna be here. And you know, I was talking to my mom's therapist, uh, her occupational therapist, and she said, she goes, "No, we did the baby's room, and you know, stuff wasn't done by the time that the I don't know if they have a boy or a girl." She goes, "You know what? It doesn't even matter. The kid doesn't care." <laughs> That's kind of where I'm at. I mean, I wanted like this perfect nursery for him and everything done, and every, but I just have to get done what I can do right now and, you know, hope everything else falls into place. The hardest thing is I want to get it done now because I'm afraid as time goes on, I'm not going to feel like doing it. I mean, just physically, I already kind of noticed that I'm getting more tired, and I don't know if that's like pregnancy related or just the fact that I am running around like a chicken with my head cut off. Going to all these appointments, getting up way earlier than I normally do. Um, you know, I just have all this stuff to do all the time. And I just, I don't know whether it's pregnancy related that I'm tired or not. So, that's that. Um, but, I'll try to get, I really want to get batteries and start doing some video of his nursery. Just for even my own record so that we have, you know, a little bit of video of it. So, I'm going to try to get that done. I want to, if you guys know what I want to do is buy a recharger, reach or rechargeable batteries for like, I've seen them before and I, I have to go online and do a search, but I want um, something that'll recharge like all different kinds of batteries. Like I know they make the units where like they charge AAs, Cs, Ds, you know, triple A's, all that kind of stuff. Because with the baby coming, we want to use rechargeable stuff in all their stuff, you know, in all his stuff, all the, you know, the swing and all that stuff. So I gotta kind of look into that. And that'll help with the camera because I'll have the rechargeable batteries. So if you guys know, you know, where to get that, how much it costs, um, you know, if there's a place online, if you just go to Walmart, I know we haven't even looked anywhere yet. Let me know. But other than that, <clears throat> I'll talk to you guys all later. Bye.